Erosion is common everywhere around the world. It's the gradual removal of sediment and its consequent transport to another site. When it happens on the shore, we call it coastal erosion, and it's mainly caused by wind, currents and waves. Underwater shapes with uneven rough surfaces formed by benthic organisms, the ones found on the seagrass floor, are collectively called canopies. Coral reefs, mangrove tree roots, kelps and seagrass are all examples of canopies. Now, imagine you're standing in the middle of a dense forest on a windy day. The trees surrounding you affect the wind, reducing its speed and strength. You're protected. If you're standing in the middle of an open field, on the other hand, there's nothing to protect you at all, so you feel the wind stronger. The same thing happens underwater. Past researchers have shown that the presence of canopies have a profound impact on protecting the shore. In my research project, we want to understand how canopies affect waves, currents and sediment distribution on coastal regions and ultimately come up with a formulae and generic description. We submerged some equipment in Coburn Sound along the coast of Western Australia to measure the currents, the waves and the suspended sediment concentration. We chose this place because it's very sheltered, small waves, small currents, but also has a very strong sea breeze with direction and strength varying throughout the day. The research is ongoing and we hope to better understand nearshore dynamics, develop new formulations and a better understanding of nature processes, thus helping decision makers around the world.